I want to show you how to easily check your composition in terms of two of the most important sort of compositional rules and that is the rule of thirds and also something known as the golden spiral. So I'll show you how to easily do that and this is a good point in the process to check that everything's working. It's I find that it's much better to work intuitively at the beginning then uh, check that the composition is correct, make tweaks and adjustments as needed before finalizing things and moving into the color phase. So what I'm going to first of all do is the layer that the character is on. The character is really the anchor point for this entire painting. Even though it's a really small, tiny element, um, this is where I'm going to relate everything to. So I'm going to double click that layer, type in character so I know that that's, that's where the character is. And then there's a number of ways you can generate your rule of thirds. And I'll just talk you through a couple of options. One way, you know, is to use rulers. And in Photoshop, to do that, you press Command or Control R, brings up these rulers along the top and along the side of your canvas or your screen. And you can just click from there and drag down. When you click and drag down, this ruler or this guide, I should say, appears. You can click from the side as well, drag them out. This is how you could make your rule of thirds, but as you can see, it's not even. So it's not ne necessarily very good to eyeball it like this. There's a way that I like to do, which is to use the guides, but to use them in a very even way. So I'm going to go up to view and come down to this, this option here, which is new guide layout. Click on that. And what happens is you get this option or this dialog box. You can basically set any number of columns and rows in, in here. You can add in, say, you know, five columns, seven rows, and it's going to generate that number of guides on your canvas. But we want three. So three and three, click OK, and there's a perfectly even spaced grid. Then I'm going to make a new layer on top of my character layer. I'm going to choose a brightish color like a red. Uh, that's fine. And a small brush. And then just basically holding down shift on my keyboard to create a straight line, I'll draw along these rulers or along these guides. I keep calling them rulers, they're guides. Sorry. <laughs> so this is how I'm going to make my grid because I prefer to look at it this way. Then I'm going to hit Command, Control, plus the comma key on my keyboard, and that hides those guides. And now I've got a layer which I know is going to be my rule of thirds, and I can relate. I can just turn it on, turn it off, and relate everything in my composition to this to this very simple, very easy uh, compositional um, tool. So you know, I could move things around. As it happens, I just sort of instinctively painted everything to more or less fit along these lines. So I don't need to change anything, actually. I could move the character if I wanted to, but, you know, I don't want to have everything literally on those uh, points. That kind of irritates me if something is too set to the rule of thirds. So I'm going to leave things like that. And now I want to show you how you can check your what's called the golden spiral. The golden spiral in composition, it's derived from something called the golden ratio, uh, which is a compositional mathematical way of looking at, at um, images. What you can do, what I'll do is just paint it very, very roughly. You can go onto Google and get yourself a golden spiral uh, image, download it, bring it into your Photoshop file. But I'll just try and draw it freehand, as messy as it is. It doesn't matter because it's really just a, it's a tool to show you where your compositional elements go. And right, right away, I can see that my character is placed exactly where I want it to be for this golden ratio, this golden spiral. That's awesome. I didn't even think about it when I was uh, painting him up or placing him within the painting, but 
that looks pretty good. So the golden spiral usually ends about here. Um, so just slightly into that third. It's not on the actual rule of thirds lines. It's just slightly in. So what I could do is maybe move the character, nudge him over to there. And there he is on that center point, which is amazing. So essentially that center point is where everything out will spiral out. The view, you know, the visual information, the uh, psychological sort of sense or feeling within when viewers look at the painting <laughs> will uh, spiral out from that from that point. And that happens to be the point in the painting where the character is. So perfect. That's how you check your composition to make sure that everything is balanced and harmonious, that you've got like a strong dynamic composition that's working and that you've got a, a visual journey for the viewer to follow. Cool, we are ready to move forwards and what I want to do now is get into colour because we've worked in black and white for long enough, it's time to bust out all of our colours. But when I say that, actually the caveat is that we're going to be working with a limited palette. So meet me in the next video and I'm going to show you how you can start choosing your colour themes.